Okay. Dean and Sam nod summonly. Miguel can see a new respect in their eyes. They think he is brave for living in a haunted house with a real ghost. They don't know how real she is, Miguel thinks to himself. This is how Tia Lola becomes top secret. It is hard to believe Tia Lola can be kept a secret. She is full of life. She is full of laughter. She is full of stories. She is full of noise. Some nights after supper, Tia Lola gives Juanita and Mommy dance lessons. They move across the living room, stomping their feet and snapping their fingers or shaking maracas and swaying their hips to the music of Fernandito Villa, Villa Lona and Juan Luis Guerrera and Rafael Solano. If only Tia Lola could stay, Mommy says wistfully as she sits on Miguel's bed one night. Under his blankets, Miguel crosses his finger. You said it was just a visit, he reminds his mother. How can Tia Lola stay? She is not willing to learn English. Just learn a little bit, Juanita tries to convince her. Un paquito, Tia Lola. Por qué, Tia Lola asks. There is no reason for it. She is just here for a visit. She can get along just fine without English. But nobody around here speaks Spanish, Juanita reminds her. Que piña. Tia Lolo is shaking her head. What a pity. If the Americans are so smart, how come they haven't figured out that Spanish is easier than English, she wonders. Miguel rolls his eyes. Easier for whom, he mutters. I do not know if it is. Que dice or que dice? Tia Lola wants to know what Miguel has said. Nada, nada, Miguel replies. After all, he doesn't really want to hurt his aunt's feelings again. Besides, as long as Tia Lola doesn't know English, she won't venture out on her own. She can be kept a secret. That's sad. So we just talked about this. You talking trash and she can't even hear him because she don't understand English. But, but... But when he's talking, whatever he's saying, she want to know what he's saying. She said, what is he saying? She knows he's talking about her. I think I think she definitely knows. Because as we were talking about yesterday. She was saying. No. What were we talking about yesterday? Even if you don't understand Sam, a language, can, tell me, what what did we talk about? Somebody tell you me. You don't have to speak English. And you, can, you don't have to speak English or Spanish. Just you can, say, you can just like, to yawn and know you're know. tired. You don't have to speak the same language to 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 know the feelings or to know what's going on. Like you don't have to speak like the this, same language. Like this. Your facial expressions, your tone of voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is this? You want to do Q or R? R says, help the rabbit find the rainbow. It's the same thing you just did a while ago, but the last time you did it with the what? A mouse. I'm talking to Ashlyn, thank you. With the mouse. A mouse and a what? <coughs> it was two M words. A mouse and a? Mushroom. Very good. And now you're doing it R, a rabbit, and a rainbow. Both of those start with an R. A rabbit and a rainbow start with an R. It's the same thing you just did. We're just using our words now. You're doing a rabbit and a rainbow. And I, then, I know how to sign the rabbit. Like this. Uh -huh. I would do like this and this and this. Girl, you got it. You Can know. I do it now? But she doesn't yes. understand like the hard part. Uh, hard part. Yeah. If she can do that, I'm really amazed. Say it again. Uh -huh. 